Hey everyone, welcome back to Cybersecure TV. So in the previous few episodes in this series, we talked about how to install Tor, how to configure it, or how to set it up uh, to use it securely. However, one limitation we did see is uh, we are still not anonymous if we are just using Tor. Uh, and the reason being is suppose uh, you are using like, you know, Windows or Mac or Linux operating system, and you have some programs outside of Tor, which is still the traffic is not going through the Tor network. Uh, Tor browser only travels the not traffic to the Tor network, which is going through that browser, but not all the applications. So suppose you are using uh, Burp Suite or WhatsApp on that on that uh, uh, like you know operating system on your system, and then all the traffic which is going through that particular program. So not that that, but like any other program you can think of, like you know Microsoft Word or whatever you use it's still not going through the Tor network. So you still have risk of not being anonymous or pri pri uh, like, you know, your privacy could be violated. So in this video, we are going to uh, discuss about uh, like, you know, how to be complete anonymous and, and, and be private. Actually, this one is also recommended by Edward Snowden. If you don't know, uh, just Google it. He's a very famous whistleblower. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's, that's what we are going to see how we are going, how we can stay anonymous. Uh, for most of the like, you know, probably as much as we can um, and not just by using the Tor browser. So today we are going to discuss about the Tails. So Tails is a portable operating system that protects against surveillance and censorship. And that is what we need. So let's see some of the features. So here it says avoid surveillance, censorship, advertising and viruses. So Tail uses the Tor network to protect your privacy online and help you avoid censorship. Enjoy the internet like it should be. Shut down the computer and start on your tail USB stick instead of starting on Windows, Mac OS or Linux. This leaves no trace on the computer when shut down. Tail includes selection of applications to work on a sensitive documents and communication securely. Everything in tail is ready to use and has a safe default. So you don't need to uh, reconfigure anything and it has like, you know, uh, some standard applications by default. You can download tails for free and independent security researchers can verify our work. Tail is based on Debian Linux. Now, how it typically works. So, Tail is a 1.2 gigabyte downloaded and takes like, you know, half an hour to install. So it's not a, like, you know, very hard to install or uh, download. Uh, Tails can be installed in USB stick. So in, in the future episode, we are also going to see various options, how we can install. And I'm actually going to show you instructions step by step, how you can install on the USB stick. So you don't have to worry about the computer having viruses because Tails can run independently from other operating system and never uses the hard disk. But Tails cannot always protect you if you install it from a computer with viruses or if you if you use it on a computer with malicious hardware like key loggers. So that's kind of a disclaimer, but yeah, it does provide uh, like, you know, whatever the anonymity that we are looking for. So we already saw that, yeah, it's an, it's an operating system which is portable and it provides anonymity everywhere. Um, one key feature is all the data is stored in the RAM. So, uh, like, you know, of course you can, you can download and, and store your bookmarks and everything. We are, we, I'm also going to demonstrate that to you, that to you, but pretty much all the, all the logs and everything is in the RAM. So as soon as you shut down the system or operating system, all of that data is vanished. So even if somebody like, you know, comes and there are no traces. So if somebody come for forensic analysis on your system, or let's say there is a uh, there is a malware or, or, or some RCE vulnerability on your system uh, which was found due to lack of patching. Still, no one will be able to figure it out like who was on the system and, and who was running it. So it provides pretty good anonymity. Uh, the first option is you can install actually on the virtual box and I guess uh, everyone would prefer that, right? So uh, how it works is as simple as that. You have a virtual box uh, which is again an open source so you can have it as Windows, Mac or Linux. And once you have it, you can uh, use the tails inside the virtual box. So it's like operating system inside the operating system. However, there are a few disadvantages, uh, which I don't think so would make a big, like, you know, a good case that we should be using on the virtual box. So it's not fully live because, uh, of course, you cannot just like you know uh, shut down the virtual box uh, i mean like you can uh, you only can delete the virtual box and then then it disappears otherwise as long as you have the virtual box all the data all the traces will still be stored on that virtual box 
then it's not portable it's easy to like you know uh, take the uh, usb drive or the or the dvd to some places rather than the entire virtual box so it's not uh, very user friendly in terms of portability if you are traveling especially or, or you have to use like a shared system then it's not really recommended and of course it's not private because as i said like all the logs and all the application and all the data will be stored in the virtual box as long as that 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 image is is stays alive so uh, every time you'll have to delete or or shut down that image and and reboot and reinstall the uh, uh, reinstall the uh, uh, tails but which is i guess i don't think anyone would recommend that the second option we have is the install and boot from the dvd system so the only problem we have is again it's not very portable and the reason i say is not nowadays not a lot of system comes with the dvd drive uh, so that's why it's not very portable and and of course you cannot store like uh, data for example if you want to uh, store some documents that you've been working on uh, you cannot store that on the dvd drive so that's again uh, you cannot write to the dvd drive is that what i mean so probably like you know, that's the reason this is again not a best recommended option the third one which is also uh, we saw multiple times on their website as well uh, this is the based option, uh, USB drive. Uh, I think the requirement is uh, the USB drive has to be like minimum 8 gigs. I think that's very uh, nominal because a lot of USB sticks nowadays are probably more than 16 gigs. So yeah, uh, portable, uh, highly portable, right? You can just take and plug in USB drives wherever you go. And, and they're also actually connected if, if let's say your system does not have USB drive, you can convert from USB uh, to USB-C and then you can still work it around. And then that way you, you are using all the advantages. So it's live system, it's portable, uh, they, it leaves no traces, and you can also store some files if you have to, uh, really have to, right? So uh, those are the advantages uh, we get by using the USB drive. So what we are going to do in the next uh, episode, I'm going to uh, show you how to download and install and verify Tails on a USB drive uh, so you can actually use it and start using it before we actually get into the dark web. Hopefully you liked this video. Uh, if you did, please hit the thumbs up and uh, leave me a comment if you have any questions. Uh, otherwise, I'll, I'll see you all next Monday. Bye.